What is up, YouTube? This is Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. Coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona. This is Thursday. It is March 8th, 2018. And uh, today is my mom's birthday. So shout out, mom. Love you. Happy birthday. <clears throat> also, today is uh, International Women's Day. Sporting the pink in support of that. And also announced today is Jessica Jones coming to Marvel Puzzle Quest. So... Uh, she will be a new five star, and you can check out her stats and info on the D3 Go forum. I'll put a link for that down in the description below, so you can read that later. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for joining us. If you're a regular, welcome back. As always, every like, share, and subscribe is always appreciated. It does help us grow the online community here on YouTube for Marvel Puzzle Quest, <clears throat> and helps me reach other questers just like yourself. Um, so I want to give a special thank you and shout out to all the new subscribers who have joined in the past week. Um, numbers have gone up uh, pretty significantly, um, and I just want to say thank you again for your support. Uh, it really does mean a lot. Uh, one thing else I want to uh, just show off while I have your attention is uh, these new Infinity War Avengers Pops that I got from... Uh, Amazon. This is the Iron Spider and uh, looks really amazing. And then I also got this uh, Iron Man. Looks like he's flying. He's got the little shoulder pads up. There's a little blaster out. It's awesome. Um, those were on the uh, Amazon Treasure Truck special and uh, definitely uh, got those for a great deal uh, here locally. So that was uh, my first little foray into uh, Marvel Avengers Infinity War um, memorabilia, so to speak, but I definitely do collect pops, and those are my two newest ones. Definitely like them, love them, can't wait to get the rest. So, now you learned a little bit something new about me. This video is going to be another Strange Sights video, if you haven't seen for the past two days, going through the boss fight with different team-ups and strategies. Um, of course, you do have to open one of the doors. There's three doors in the Doctor Strange event. You have to work your way through the white line progression, these character required nodes are optional. Uh, you do not have to complete those, but they do give you more points if you have the characters to complete them. I'm going to go through after this video and do that myself. As you can see, I've got about three hours uh, from the time of this uh, video being made to complete that and then getting some more into the Avengers vs. Ultron event, which definitely is a great alliance based event and I'm in a great alliance right now. So shout out to all my alliance mates, you guys rock. And uh, let's give this thing everything we got. So before we do that, we're going to go over to this stage here. And this is the boss fight with Kaecilius. You can see I've picked the Maja node for today, with the hood being the featured enemy in that. And then uh, coming through around to the boss fight with Kaecilius. So in uh, shield clearance 8, he's level 330. One star character, his powers don't change from day to day or as you progress um past each one he doesn't really get any harder um, the mechanics stay the same so if you've seen the other two videos this week I apologize for being repetitive if this is the first video that you're watching um, then we'll go over that quickly you get 1400 points for beating the boss which is very low I feel like uh, you get more points for completing uh, like a wave node in the regular campaign side of things um, but even the the regular fights I feel like for a boss fight, he should be worth a little bit more. That's just my humble opinion. Take it for what it's worth. 3,500 ISO, though, that's a pretty good reward. So I feel like the points for completion should match the reward that's down below for ISO. My, my opinion, for, again, what it's worth. <clears throat> so this is the team that I've concocted for today's fight. Um, this is 3-star Scarlet Witch, 4-star Carnage, who I don't have... Uh, maxed, um, but Electra and Carnage, I do have it 13 covers, but they are not championed yet. So they're only at level 200, but it's more about their abilities than their power level for this kind of a fight. So I have Electra at a 355 build, and what's neat about her is her purple ability uh, is going to transform two random enemy strike or attack tiles into friendly strike tiles. Uh, and improve their strength. This obviously is worth a whole lot more at level 5, and it does include protect tiles. Um, <clears throat> but it also puts three random purple basic tiles into uh, strike tiles, which are only strength 16. So it's very minimal extra damage, but 
having three extra tiles is going to be great to damage Kaiselius with. Uh, Shadow Step for 10 black AP cost is going to negate damage by placing trap tiles um, up to 5 on the board <clears throat> and deal damage back, which is not, of course, relevant in this fight. Um, Ballet of Death is going to uh, create a, tap, a trap tile which steals 1 purple, 1 black, and 1 red AP. And, uh, of course, affiliated with Heroes and Team Cap. Scarlet Witch, 535 build. She is one of my champions. She's almost up to her max level of 266, so she's got uh, pretty strong abilities here. Reality Crush being an AoE attack and stuns a random enemy for five turns. Um, Cassilis cannot be stunned or sent airborne. That's part of his boss mechanics. Um, and you can't deal AoE damage, so this ability pretty much is useless. We're going to be using uh, Arcane Incantation, which is her passive uh, blue countdown tile for three turns that can... Uh, transforms five random adjacent basic or team up tiles to purple. Um, Hex Bolt is a very uh, unpredictable board shuffle, but it does destroy up to three random tiles around a selected tile. And then at higher levels, of course, it destroys more uh, as well, including special tiles at level five, uh, which can be countdown tiles. And uh, so this power is going to fuel up uh, our friend Electra's purple ability, as well as her trap tile giving AP, so that's a huge purple uh, boost there. That's Heroes, Avengers, and Team Cap for affiliations. <clears throat> Carnage is going to... Actually, now that I think about it... Uh, yeah, this creates attack tiles, not strike tiles. So we're going to actually nix him and put in 3-star Captain Marvel as a backup because only dealing uh, only destroying enemy strike tiles is what deals damage to Kaecilius. So we need someone that puts enemy strike tiles up there. You know what, just for grins and giggles, let's go with Patch. So uh, Patch is another very common uh, character used against Kaecilius. He puts out more strike tiles than uh, Captain Marvel, and we get a rainbow here, so I'm happy with that. So we do have him at a uh, 535 currently. Uh, this is the one that's going to create six strike tiles for each team. Uh, purple for enemies, green for allies, and then this just adds friendly tiles, so that's not bad. And then healing, of course, uh, each round. So let's go with Electra, Patch, and Scarlet Witch. And so Scarlet Witch is going to fuel up Electra's uh, purple, and then uh, we're going to use green from Wolverine, red from Electra, and then blue is passive, and yeah, yellow is passive, so that should work. <clears throat> Skip the text because we've done this two days in a row. So, the th special thing about Kaecilius is the only way to deal damage, like I said, is to match those. Enemy strike tiles. Uh, when matched, deals 3363 damage to Kaecilius. He can't be stunned or sent airborne, and all other damage is negated against him. Uh, forbidden power for 15 black AP deals 4203 in damage to the enemy team, plus an extra 841 for each friendly strike tile on the board, which he does create one random strength 126 strike tile each turn with his purple, which is another passive. So, what we want is. Well, just about anything, but for here, let's take these guys. That didn't help me, so we're going to do this. I really need some purple matches. That would be great. And of course, that one was on the edge, so it barely got any matches with it. Um, so let's do this. And of course, he's hitting Wolverine for a lot, but he does heal for that damage back. Uh, so we'll go for the green here. 
All right, we got our first opportunity here for purple, which is great. All right, so we are going to, uh, let's see, first I'm going to take this yellow because I know I need that to deal damage. And then, while Wolverine is tanking all that, ooh, we got match five. So let's do this. All right, now, these other three strike tiles that are there, four strike tiles, are kind of in difficult places to match. So we're going to use this. And then we're going to use it again. Those other three are going to become enemy strike tiles. Now these ones are only strength 16. Uh, these ones have been converted. They do deal extra damage, but not in this fight in particular. So we need to get this purple down like that. And he matched it for me, which is beautiful, which is one for every tile matched. And that basically did the job there. So that was a very well uh, run strategy, even though Arcane Incantation had some really like poor placements and not a lot of heavy purple matches by the time we were able to use it. Able to uh, stack those up very closely and then he made the match for me. So thanks a lot Kaecilius for making my video success and easy. And uh, we're about halfway up to getting that uh, War Machine cover at uh, the next level there. That'll be easy after the next couple rounds of doing these required character nodes. And that's that. So um, want to go, let's see if we can go, hmm, there is this Alias Investigations, which does have Jessica Jones available for 25 CP for chance to draw her, not that she's guaranteed, one in seven draw rate. Um, this also does give you a chance for Green Goblin and Black Panther, which I think are great five-star characters. Uh, Green Goblin being one of the only uh, villain five-stars, of course. And then Civil War Black Panther just has some really great abilities. So since uh, that first fight went so well with Kaecilius, um, let's draw four of these. So I'm willing to spend 100 command points. I have 438. Um, so we have one in seven draw rate for each of those, plus chance of bonus heroes or four stars. So let's give it a shot. Yondu, of course, get his blues left and right after he's a champion. Um, I'll take that. And then five star Black Panther, move or be moved. All right, I'll take that. Another four star Kingpin, that's gonna be some ISO. And another four-star Ant-Man. Boo. All right, so I said four. Let's do five just because I got 38, and that's like a weird number to have. But we'll try for five. And it's Sandman, which I don't know if I need that purple or not. I'll take a quick look at the roster. Four stars. And Sandman is going to be in the back somewhere because I don't use him a whole lot. Oh, check it out. Uh, oh no, he's a 5-3-5. Five, five. So he is at 13 covers. Am I going to champion him next? Probably not, if I'm being honest. But uh, that'll be it for that video. Let's go ahead and uh, train in these levels for Yondu and Black Panther. And then we can see we got two command points back already. So really, instead of 125, we only spent 123. And 315, fun fact, my birthday. So that was worth it right there. Um... Move or be moved goes to level 4 for my 5-star Black Panther. His passive ability, um, if he takes 1672 or more damage, negates 60% of that, stuns him for 2 turns when he comes back, deals a bunch of damage. Um, this is actually a great ability to pair with Thanos. Um, so if you haven't tried that combo before, Thanos deals a bunch of damage to his friendly team. This will kick Black Panther out, um, negate part of that damage, and then when he comes back, deals more damage for free to that enemy team. Uh, obviously, with his, Thanos using his court death, of course, is what we're talking about. And uh, at max level here, it's going to bring that required damage down to 1533. Still two turns done, 60% negated damage, and then the increase to dealt damage goes to 3010. So um, not huge up from level 4 to 5. Uh, if I had my choice, 
He's a 0-3-4 build, so honestly, at this point, I'll take whatever covers I can get. Um, still looking for that Panthers prey, though. That would be great. Um, absolutely. So, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. This has been Mr. MPQ, your source in the Southwest for all things Marvel Puzzle Quest. I will be doing a Jessica Jones preview video. Uh, I think Artem already did one, so you can check out his channel on uh, the link down in the description box below. You can follow me on Twitter. You can subscribe to this channel for more Marvel Puzzle Quest content. And until next time, as always, keep on questing, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great night.